Oh, hi. Uh, I'm out here checking out my uh, equipment for the upcoming uh, solar eclipse event. I uh, want to make sure I'm uh, looking at it uh, very safely, so I've got some uh, nice little uh, sun filter glasses uh, so I won't uh, hurt my eyes. We now know that uh, solar eclipses are caused when the moon passes between the earth and the sun. But you can imagine what ancient peoples thought when all of a sudden, okay, the earth suddenly becomes totally dark in the middle of the day, almost like night comes out of nowhere. Well, of course, like anything else, they're trying to explain this phenomena in a variety of different ways. And this is where all the myths come up, okay? Myths are stories that ancient people uh, created to explain the world around them and the universe and uh, why and how things happened. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to explore some of these uh, solar eclipse myths that ancient people created. Early Africans believed the sun and moon are fighting during a solar eclipse. To stop the eclipse, Africans would try to persuade the two to stop their fighting and come together. The ancient Chinese believed a dragon ate the sun, so people would yell, bang drums, and pots in order to chase the dragon away. The ancient Indians believed that the demon Rahu, whose head was cut off by the god Vishnu, blamed the sun and moon for his punishment. Out of hatred, Rahu's head chases both the sun and the moon to get revenge. Eclipses occur when Rahu catches and eats the sun or moon. However, because Rahu has no body, the sun and moon fall out of the bottom of his head. The Koreans believe fire dogs are always chasing the sun, attempting to capture it. While the dogs can never catch the sun, an eclipse occurs when the dogs bite the sun. The ancient Vietnamese believe the frog or toad eats the sun, but is persuaded to spit it out by the Lord of Han. Ancient Greeks believed eclipses were a sign of impending disasters and destruction on earth because the gods had become very angry. Like the Koreans, Vikings believed uh, that animals were chasing the sun, except this time it was wolves that were chasing the sun, and then uh, eclipses would occur when any wolves uh, caught the sun. The Navajo people believe people need to take time to reflect on the natural balance of nature's law and cosmic order during an eclipse. Families gather in their homes singing songs for the occasion, along with not eating or drinking, during an eclipse event. There are even myths today that people believe, such as that eclipses pose a danger to pregnant women and their unborn children. So therefore, pregnant uh, women are encouraged to stay indoors during a solar eclipse. Here's something from the South Carolina Emergency Management Division. They have actually been warning people uh, that the legendary lizard man of Lee and Sumter counties may become more active during the eclipse of 2017. Go away, dragon. Go away, dragon. Oh, uh, just practicing in case the Chinese are right and a dragon is going to eat the sun. So we got to chase it away. Oh, well. Um, some things you might want to try now is uh, give a background story to some of the myths that you just heard about. Uh, why did, uh, you know, why does some wolves want to eat the sun? Why does toad want to eat the sun? Why does a dragon want to eat the sun? Uh, why did the, um, why did the evil demon, uh, why is it trying to eat the sun? Um, so come up with those things. Also, you might also want to come up with your own myth as to why solar eclipses occur. No matter what, be creative. Also, you may can draw some pictures of uh, myths and uh, what you believe is happening during a solar eclipse or what you can imagine happening is ha uh, going on during a solar eclipse. There's really no right or wrong answers. Just be creative, okay? Uh, so uh, work with your teachers on this.